All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So I'm gonna be doing a weed sector review. I'm gonna to try to cover more than three if I can, but I'm at least gonna cover Tilray, CGC, and High Tide, because I think it's a really interesting combo of charts just with those three, all right? So with Tilray, it's, 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 it's one of those things where I'm not exactly sure if we're done with earnings reaction yet or not. This was a big candle and I, I think I expected just a little bit more. And even with it not happening, I can't tell if buy the rumor, sell the news should be happening and it's not. And there's just a couple floating things I've got in my head as I look at Tilray, okay? CGC, listen, I know there are a lot of passionate people with, with CGC, but I've been, I've been fearing bad things for a bit and it's starting to get just a little uglier than it was not that long ago. So CGC is looking bad. And look, high tide, man, high tide is so close. It just continues to have this inability to bring two good candles in a row. So I think it's a really interesting one, two, three, and I might break the other ones out into a different video. But before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are a lot of lines, so I'm probably gonna delete some, but there are horizontal support and resistance lines, as well as the occasional diagonal trend line that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps me so, so much. And for real, if you can just share the video, it helps me the most because I'm really not that good at that, all right? I'm getting a bigger following, but it's not there just yet, you know? So let's get into it. And you know, the first thing I actually really wanna do is I wanna delete my lines. Look at how many lines I have and believe me, I'm sure I'll redraw them at some point, right? But there, there comes a bit when it's just like a little over 16 lines. Goodness gracious. So everything's gone, all right? I kind of wish I talked about that RSI 21 line. If you go back a couple seconds, there was a, a line on the 21. We'll get to that one later. I thought I was just going to delete these up here. But let's talk Tilray. Um, I started the video with a couple just overall thoughts that I kind of like, spit out really quickly, right? So um, the first one I want to talk about is obviously this big candle right here, right? Um, this was the day of the earnings. I was talking about how the earnings volume was going down, all right? I was talking about how, hey, maybe it means that the, that the earnings sell-off isn't as horrible and maybe it's going to get ready to go up. Lo and behold, we got this big, big, big magic candle on Tuesday, right? Because, yeah, Monday was a holiday, right? So Tuesday was the the first of only a four-day trading week right here. Now, red, 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 red can turn into a real big green, 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 right? And um, roughly speaking, it basically ran to about half of the candle right there, right? So the candle itself makes sense. Obviously, the eight moving average itself kind of stopped it as well. But yeah, I was thinking, and I'm pretty sure I made a video, right? So like, you know, I, I, I know I started getting excited that the earnings sell-off reaction was, was not going to be a big deal. I don't like the last couple days. Friday's an interesting one though, but what, what I'm really now starting to watch is a stock that's not winning against the eight moving average. Listen, Tilray knows how to go under the eight moving average. It, it, it lived under that line for, I mean, let's just zoom out, right? Almost the entirety of its life. Excuse me right there, a little hiccup. But um, I, I wanted us to get back over. I was actually starting to talk about this line, if I'm not mistaken. I remember that actually, right? So the eight moving average is a horrible, horrible line when, it, when it's your worst enemy. It's a good line when it's your friend, right? You all of a sudden kind of start using it and start bouncing on it and you work your way up, right? There's better examples on that line, but you've watched my videos, I hope. But we're now starting to, 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 to fail the, the 
the eight moving average and I don't like that, all right? The next just kind of interesting thing is, okay, because again, back to this big candle right here, the green day. This right here was a lot to do with the reschedulization hype, right? Like, and I'm not using the word hype to like pump and dump kind of phrase, right? Like there's, there's no other word for it. It is a hype, right? So generally, there's a there's a stock saying that's buy the rumor, sell the news, all right? And as the rumor starts getting juicier and realer and realer and realer, that's actually when you should start seeing a string of green before the news actually drops and falls. That's buy the rumor, sell the news, right? Um, that didn't actually happen here. And in a little bit of my mind, I actually think the market is looking for real validation as opposed to the rumors of, of you know, of whoever and whatever, right? Like I think the sell the news might not happen. And I'm thinking that because the buy the rumor didn't sell off here. I hope that made sense. If it didn't make sense, throw it in the comments right there, right? But yeah, I think I would have expected a little bit more of a green in a row if, you know, by the rumor was the thing. Because again, we still haven't seen the reschedulization, right? There's now more and more confidence in it and this and that. DEA has at least said something. They haven't necessarily said yes or no, but they said something, right? We had that, that, that discussion a couple weeks ago. Um, there's, there's, there's interesting things. There's enough for the rumor to run, but no, I think we're looking for the validation, all right? Now, what I need to happen, what I need to happen is a confirmation of this Friday candle. So I know it looks very insignificant, all right? It's only a 3% candle. It doesn't seem like much, actually a relatively small candle, but I zoomed in just to make sure we all see it. We actually, and I know it's insignificant in a lot of ways, right? But this is a two candle, sorry, this is a two moving average candle right here. We recover the 50 and we actually are over the eight, okay? Now the 50 is important because obviously that is the last of the five and you never want to lose all five and die is something I say often, right? And the worst part is we are not that far from all time lows. Obviously I just deleted a bunch of lines down there, right? And I just saw that there were more up there. That was kind of weird, but whatever. Um, so it's important that we held the five. And I just talked about not liking our inability to get over the eight, right? So we gapped over it on Thursday, right? Because we actually open up here at 208, right? You can see it in the box over there. And then unfortunately we closed down, right? But hey, this one actually does by a little bit, right? But it does close over. You can see in the box over there, the close of $2 and the eight moving average are both at $2, right? So the green number on top and then the eight average green. But hey, as I zoom in, I see a little bit. Look, it, it's not necessarily enough, but it's something and I'll take it. And look, this little channel, I don't need to draw the lines because it's basically all of these and then just this red one. This is a lot of red, 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 green, 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 red, red, red. It could be a nice little green, green, green back up, right? This will be very hard to get over. 214, literally you can see in the box over there's three lines, the 20, the 100 and the 200, right? So that's gonna be a little difficult to get over. Um, volume's not looking great anymore. I remember talking about it looking a little 50-50-ish. Not really anymore. There's now definitely a little bit of a sell-off starting to happen. I mean, since you can say easily since this day, since what was this, since January 4th, okay, there has been far more people selling than buying. I don't like that. I never liked that, right? I wanna see accumulation happening, not more selling than buying. But hey, you know, moving averages matter more to me. Hopefully we can bounce over this 50. Hopefully we can stay over the eight. Hopefully we make our way up, all right? What's the next important line? I think it is this, 206, all right? We need to close at 206 on Monday. If we can close at 206 on Monday, that'll give me belief that we're gonna try to test this 214 come Tuesday, all right? Again, that's a difficult line to break. Why? Because it's actually three lines. Like I said, the 20 in orange, the 100 and the 200 in blue and purple right there, right? What happens if bad things happen? Look, what's your line? Oh, that's basically where we open today. Interesting, okay. And then what's your line? That's down there. What's your line? 
basically the bottom of this guy. All right, I'm gonna take this, oops, I'm gonna take this candle. I'm gonna make that line right there. Don't wanna lose 190. You can actually see that was a little bit less than the bottom wicker today. All right, we cannot lose 190. I have to draw that line right there. I don't think we'll we'll come to 172. I think 190's next, then there's still 185, 184, then there's still like 178. This is an important line though right there. I'll draw that. Look, bad things happen if we head to and below 190. The goal for Monday is like I said 205. I think that's a decent place. 208 would be even better. 206. Um, and then we start battling that up there. What's the weekly tell? Um, you know, hold on. I didn't really talk about this much. RSI did just slip into the negative, all right? What I'm seeing is a very bad slope kind of flattening out, all right? So hopefully this is just a little bit of a slip and we can go up if we bounce. Um, there was a line at 21 on the RSI, all right? So RSI on the low side is basically like right there, give or take, that's uh, 17, you can see that, right? 19, whatever, give or take, right? But that basically hits this right here, hits the bottom of that, hits this little horizontal right there. Again, now I'm kind of looking at the 20s, right? Again, we're not here for perfect, we're here for good enough, right? We're still at a 33. This thing still has a little bit more to go down if it wants to go down. And I'm kind of seeing a little bit more of a divergence here as I zoom out again. Divergence just means two lines going away from each other. Other, right it's not as drastic when I zoom up but um, zooming back I didn't really like it so generally speaking 30 is a place where the RSI is considered too low and should turn back up I think 21 might be and my cat needs to get out what are you doing what are you doing let's get her out oh no don't kiss on her all right there we go okay so um, yeah I think that's pretty good right there for Tilray hey let me know oh last thing let me just say this real quick someone on Twitter posted something too so they actually provided a link and you know i love that right give us some support whenever you're going to give some thoughts but there's a lot of germany rumblings happening okay it seems like german legalization legalization might be happening soon that could be really interesting i remember um, almost a month or two ago when that news first first hit i kind of said i didn't think it was that important whole mess of viewers were saying I was very much wrong and they gave me good reason to, to, to realize I was wrong. So I'm following the Germany news if it, if it hits for sure too, all right? Now let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions, let me know if you disagree, if I missed anything otherwise. CGC, okay. You know, I normally don't say this, and the really cool thing is, I think a lot of the CG... Oh, by the way, sorry. Hey, if you can subscribe and share the video, that'd be really cool. I'm about to say some bad things, and I know no one wants to hear someone say bad stuff, right? But um, I would much rather someone tell me the sky is, is, is on fire than lie to me and say it's blue and all good, all right? I have been very, very pessimistic. I've been very bearish since this reverse split right here, all right? Um, I never like a stock that does a reverse split. I, I, it's just, it's a rule I have. I've lost a lot of money on reverse splits. I've held after losing that a lot of money, hoping it would turn around to not see it happen. Like, I don't like reverse splits. It's bad and it's actually bad for a long time in general, all right? And I've been echoing those fears since this day. Look, CGC made a couple attempts up, made a couple attempts up, made a couple attempts up. We're now below this 455 line. And each video I've been making has been all about this 455 line for CGC, all right? Why? Specifically right here, okay? This is the same line right here, 455 right here this was a resistance this was a resistance this was a resistance this was a resistance on the fifth one it broke that line and ran four complete stops fifth one let go okay i'd been echoing that in my opinion it's never like one for one just because it was four resistance fifth one take off it doesn't mean you're gonna go one two three Four, fifth one lose it all right and I think that's essentially what we see here 
this is one. You can argue this isn't even two because we never, we kiss it a number of times, but we never close on it, right? You can say this is one, this is two, and then we lost it already. But I would say this is one, this is two, this is three, we went down so far, right? Now, this is not the biggest of confirmation candles, all right? So maybe in a lot of ways, like it's not necessarily a doji, right? Like if it looked a little bit more like this, even a little bit more like that, I would say, hey, maybe it's a doji, let's give it another day. Like technically speaking, that's a bad candle under that line, obviously even under the eight moving average, right? But I think this line's really important right now. Under that line, under that line one more time, eight moving average is coming down. I think the 20 is about to come down and follow with it. Looks like even this 50 might even be starting, all right? It looks like the RSI isn't done. It kind of does want to come down a little lower. It's been a while. It's been a long, long time since we've been super low. How about you? How low are you? This was a 22 right here, right? You can see in the box right there, RSI. 22 we're still at a 32 right i don't know if it's going to come this low like this is 12 13 15 14 just living in the teens right um and that was in july right between june and july of of last year so my problem the one thing i kept saying okay the one thing i kept saying and as i zoom out you can see it this 405 line is the it's the real all-time low this 311 was before the split all right that's when it was in the 31 cent world um this 405 is the true all-time low line i was saying that i thought that this this 455 had a little bit more strength and if we lost that it might kind of be a quick super fall down all right we have used this 405 a couple times already one good bounce there, one good bounce there, one little survival, a bounce there, a bounce there, and then obviously a nice super takeoff right there, right? Um, I think this 455 matters more than the 405, and I, I, I've been echoing that for weeks, right? So I'm worried that we're about to lose a quick 10%, and then if we lose 405, this is falling into deep all-time lows. The last place you want your hard-earned money is all-time lows. Listen, I've been bearish since this day, all right? It has very, very less to do with canopy growth itself and 100% to do with a river. I don't care if it's one for 10. I don't care if it's one for two. I don't care if it's one for 2,000, all right? Reverse split is death. I've said it on so many tickers, so many sectors, and the problem is it's, it's, it's a slow and painful death unless all-time lows kind of does some ex expedited things, you know? So we'll look at the weekly. Not that much to look at on the weekly, really. I really don't have too much to say here. Yeah. Okay, cool. CGC. Let me know. Your, okay, we'll talk about the offering real quick, I guess. I'm not a fan of the offer flip-flop. If you're going to do the offering, don't take it off the table. I think we talked about it last video, actually. Yeah, I think we did, actually. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if I didn't talk about the offering, but I thought I did. High Tide. This is a different chart than the other two right there. Really quickly, if you can please subscribe and share, that would be very much appreciated, all right? Um, this is a very different chart than the other ones, all right? First of all, Tilray is is kind of playing a little bit of in the, in the line ping pong, right? The five are a little bit tight. It's almost lost all five. That's not beautiful. All right, CGC is looking even worse, well under all five, continuing to kind of work its way down. And if you actually look at this, it's almost the inverse of high tide, all right? High tide, sorry, high tide is above all five, is definitely using the eight pretty well. You know, someone mentioned, I know I saw a comment about this Thursday candle. For sure, a big, bad, scary red candle, right? But you gotta remember two things. Number one, you can't let a single candle scare, like don't let a single day up or down dictate it, right? Like we're, we're, we're swing trading, we're letting the lines help us, right? 
And if you lose the eight, you got the 20 right there to hopefully help you as well. And when the lines are this close, I'm kind of cool with that. I'll be honest with you. I'm a little more comfortable letting the eight slip because, hey, the 20 will do the job. And it's not like I'm me a good it's not like something like this where if i lose the eight up here i gotta go all the way down here before i maybe bounce no right like if i lose this and then i hit this we'll go if i was to lose this line oh yeah game over right so that's a bad day i'm not pretending it's a bad day you can see in the box over there the close the top green number 176 is the same as the low the third the third number right there 176 i hate that no little wick on the bottom the entire day they were selling till the end horrible day i'm not pretending it wasn't right but there's a couple factors that you can use to kind of like I don't want to use the word calm down because believe me, that's almost insulting, right? I'm not trying to tell anyone to calm down, but yeah, don't, don't let one big bad day or one good day up kind of like dictate it. You want confirmation, all right? And that's kind of been the story of this. Look, I love a stock overall five, all right? Break all five and fly is one of my favorite rhymes, all right? There's a couple things though that are still missing, all right? And I'll even start down here. Look at the volume. We are not smashing the 50-day average, okay? Like, I, I use this joke so often, and it, 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 I, to me, it's hilarious. I'll be real honest with you, okay? But, like, the average student in the class, if this was a class of 50, and I'm, I'm, I'm the average, that's a C student, all right, that that boy or girl's parents are not getting a bumper sticker that says we're proud of our little baby. No, man, no one's proud of the average. All right, this is a C. This is not a B plus. This is not even a B minus. Not even a C plus. All right, it's straight average. We're nowhere near above average. We're actually kind of below average, relatively speaking, most of December and January. Little times we pop up. There were some nice big moments when we break it, but it just it, it's there's an inconsistency with the volume. Okay, with that, the inconsistency with the candles up here. All right, good green red, good green doji doji red, doji green red, doji doji red. Like that's a song right there. That's that's not a that's not a chart. That you know what I mean? Like. We, we need follow through and confirmation. You hear me say that all the time because that, that right there is what brings sustainability, all right? You need confirmation to confirm that it wants to keep going up. Like stocks, stocks like just keep, go, like this, look at it. It wasn't that long ago. This thing just kept going up, right? And you can see, it's funny, this thing actually knows how to go up while doing green red green red green red green red so like hey for all i know that is how this thing likes to travel up and maybe i just gotta get used to it you know that that might be a really funny thing actually i've never seen that um so consistently on another stock but relatively speaking it's kind of telling me as i'm looking at that it knows how to do it the biggest difference though look at this volume look at that volume all right I got to believe this was an earnings thing right here. I believe it was because I remember talking about this peak back in that earnings side. We know the earnings date is around the corner. I, I believe I've heard people say the CEO's name is Raj. Okay, fun fact, my wife is Indian. Yo, Indians are hardcore, all right? They are, they are built to win and dominate, all right? And if I, I, I like an Indian CEO just because, again, yeah, she, she whipped me pretty hard. And I kid, I kid, I do. But you get what I'm saying. So um, hopefully earnings spike can do the thing. But more than anything, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of taken back a little bit by this red green red green red green march up red green red green red green march up maybe i'm i like i said maybe it's something i got to adjust to on this because one thing that i always say is look i'm here giving general thoughts general guidelines general this and that general this and that right when you're looking at one specific stock and you're you're playing this more than another, you need to let the stock tell you which rules matter, 
right? So, hey, maybe the confirmation thing looks a little different on this than it does on another one. I don't know, right? I'm just kind of talking out loud, but just some food for thoughts. Earnings. Earnings could do some crazy things here because you know the rhyme. There is so much, so much red, 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 green, green, green. Like, like just, 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 if we can, if we can get into this two tw oh man, like, there is so much just up and down that if we can get some good up, this thing knows what to do above all the moving averages. This thing actually struggled for a bit above all the moving averages before going. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's close, man. Um, 25 minutes. I'll move the other ones to another video. Hey, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. I appreciate you all so, so much.